Hey there again. Welcome back for another episode of Cancer as a Metabolic Disease. Today's topic is going to be what is cancer? So I'm going to go from very conventional sources here. This is from the NIH, the National Cancer Institute, and the definition of cancer. Cancer is a disease in which some parts of the body cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body. Cancer can start almost anywhere in the body, which is made up of trillions of cells. Normally, human cells grow and multiply through a process called cell division to form new cells as the body needs them. When cells grow old and become damaged, they die and new cells can take their place. Sometimes this orderly process breaks down and abnormal or damaged cells grow and multiply when they shouldn't. These cells can form tumors, which are lumps of tissue. Tumors can be cancerous, malignant, or non-cancerous, benign. Cancerous tumors spread into or invade nearby tissues and can travel distant places in the body to form new tumors, a process called metastases. And this is a graphical representation of what that process looks like from initiation and transformation here to hyperplasia where it grows uncontrollably and then starts to recruit new blood vessels to the area that's called angiogenesis. And then ultimately it has to find a happy medium between enough blood supply that doesn't cause necrosis or death of those cells and able to um, invade and kind of trick the immune system so it can't be killed to form a self-sustaining tumor ecosystem. In 2000, in Cell Reports, which is where this graphic comes from, there was something that was proposed called the hallmarks of cancer, which is basically looking at what are the actual kind of things that are important to define what cancer is. And I'm gonna use a, a newer graphic to, to show what those are. So this is the hallmarks of cancer, the new dimension. This is from 2022. So essentially it's going to have the ability to sustain growth. It's going to be able to evade any checks on that growth by evading growth suppressors. It's going to be able to avoid immune destruction, which is normal for us to have our immune cells kill these cancer cells immediately. It's going to enable replicative immortality. So it's going to make them so they cannot die. It's going to promote tumor inflammation. It's going to activate invasion of other tissues and metastases, which is transferring those cells to other parts of the body. It's going to make sure it has its own blood supply um, by inducing and uh, or accessing a nearby vasculature. That's called angiogenesis. It has genomic instability and mutations. It's going to resist cell death or apoptosis, and it's going to have dysregulated cellular metabolism. What they have found over essentially you know, 20 years is that there's a couple new hallmarks of cancer, one of which is non-mutational epigenetic reprogramming, which is basically how the genes are reprogrammed. It's gonna talk, talk about how different cancers are induced and sustain a different type of microbiome. There's the idea of senescent cells, which is incredibly important and is a, an Achilles heel of a lot of our cancer treatments, conventional cancer treatments, and the unlocking of phenotypic plasticity, which is the ability to go to become a different, differentiated cell or a specialized cell or back to towards a stem cell. And this is what the, the new uh, complete hallmarks of cancer look like. Again, this is from a very conventional way of looking at cancer. We're next going to look at how cancer or how we think cancer begins in the next episode. Until then.